Hello, this tutorial is going to go over changing the name on your computer in addition setting a password for it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the Apple in the upper left hand corner, come down to System Preferences, and then from there under the System setting I'm going to click on Users and Groups. So by default your, password, your full name is going to be Student, which we're going to change that in a second. In addition, the password, all lowercase, is BHS. We will also change that. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that student admin is highlighted in blue. Never will you click off of the student admin uh, panel. You always want to be on the student admin panel. Next, I'm going to click on the lock in the lower left hand corner. The name of this cur computer currently is student. Password, all lowercase is BHS. We're going to change that in a second. So now I can, now that I've un I'm unlocked, I can make changes. So I'm going to change student, highlight that and delete it, and change that to the first part of my at bsd220.org email address. So for me, that is T. O'Connor. For most people, it's going to be their first initial and last name, unless you have a common name uh, as somebody else, and you might have your middle initial in there. Next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to change the password for this computer. I'm going to click on Change Password. The old password is BHS, all lowercase. The new password is something that you can set. Now make sure it's something that you will remember, that you're not going to forget, because if you were to forget this, you're going to have to take it down to the library to get it serviced by our technology team. So make sure it's something that you will not forget. You need this password to download apps and programs onto your computer. So I'm going to set mine. Password hint, you can choose to set a password hint. We highly recommend it. All the password hint is, it allows you to uh, remember your password. So it should be something that's going to help you remember your password if you were to forget it. Uh, so you can set that if you if you would like. We highly recommend that you do. I'm going to click change password and now I've set my password. In addition, I've set the name to my computer as the first part of my BSD email address. So finally I'm going to come over and click on the lock and make all these changes uh, permanent for now. Thank you and have a good day.